All right, I'm on hole number 17 of the Riverside Tournament in the opening round of the Rookie Division. Took a little bit of a break from the last hole. Let's see what we got here. What do we got? <clears throat> I do not remember these holes. Okay, this is the par four. All right. Glen Monarch Estates hole number four. This is the one. And there is a very specific spot. I'm trying to do a, a max overpower curl shot. No hook, just curl with an Apocalypse 5 from right here. And you can do, there is a max overpower hook shot you can do that'll lead you through the same area. But I don't think that there's any more. You can do maybe extra mile type curl on the right hand side, but I think if you start bringing out Apocalypse Curl, there's some trees in here that aren't, are in play. It almost looked, yesterday I kind of glanced over one of my opponents went that way and it, I'm not sure that the trees haven't been changed again, but there are some trees over here that affect a max overpower hook shot from the right. So you probably want to stay to the left, but I'm going to try just a regular overpower curl shot and it's a very narrow window. It's very narrow. So I'm going to take an apocalypse and I'm taking a Titan, the king of balls. I'm going to do, uh, I'm just going to do a standard adjustment, 2.1 per ring. No, excuse me, 1.5 per ring. I'm using my Apocalypse. So used to using an extra mile because I didn't have an Apocalypse. And uh, the club card trading, if it wasn't for the club card trading, I would still have a level 1 Apocalypse. It may be at level 2 now, but it would not be at level 3. So the club card trading, and I voted against the club card trading if they had asked me. I thought there was other ways they could use that, but uh, it's here, so take advantage of it. <clears throat> Let's see what my choices are this fine day. As soon as I get done here, I'm going to play my 77 account. I'm not, I may just play it out, just play like nine holes straight. Tsunami, I can get it to level five. I'm working on those. I'm going to get my Tsunami to level five. I'm not sure what it gets at level five, but... I may not ever take it any higher than that, but at least get it that level. Let's see what it gets at level five. Tsunami. Let's upgrade that sucker. So the accuracy at uh, 60, that'd be 58. Or excuse me, 1.8, 1.8 per ring. Nice round number, no ball guide. So I can say I have my Tsunami to level 5, but I will probably, I should have actually put those cards in my Grizzly or something to try and get it up. And <clears throat> try and catch, back, catch up to my 77 account and see if I can get that uh, up. Alright, that's all we need. Apocalypse and a Titan. It either works. I either hit it. I need to hit it perfect. One ring great to the right or two rings great to the right. If I hit it anything other than that, I'm not sure <laughs> where it's going to go. But it ain't going to be good. So fully extended, I'm going to be two rings off of where the rough kicks out here. Normally on curl shots, I like to be like a max curl shot. I like to be three rings of separation, but there isn't, we're, I'm trying to get it to go so far to the right, there isn't enough room to pull it farther to the left. Even with, a, even, and I'm going to have to switch to a kingmaker. I need a three side spin ball here. My bad. My bad. I thought the, I thought the, the king of balls could get it done, but the king of balls is, is, it must have meant the emperor. <laughs> it's a little lacking. And that tree right there is the one I'm talking about. That tree wasn't there. And, and that max curl shot with the apocalypse, it gets going. I'm surprised that it didn't clip <clears throat> as much as they put on it. What are you telling me oops for? Is that not where you were trying to get? Or are you just excited that you made that shot? Three, three.
try and hit it perfect. Hit it two rings straight to the right. And that might be in my range. Clip, clip, clip. Oh, I'm, I hit it so far it actually went over. I missed the rough. That's the first time I've caught it like that. I could fix that by taking some of that top spin off. But that's the first time I've had that happen. If you clip the rough, you've got so much forward momentum that it throws you out and you end up on the fringe down at the bottom down in this area and I breezed right through that <clears throat> I can still make this shot though this is definitely if I can hit this perfect it's in the hole other than the needle speed it's the same deal because really from any of the other spots if you hit it perfect now on that side that my opponent was on I'm not sure what the if if or what the elevation adjustment or whatever adjustment is I'm not sure from the other side I know it's a 10% okay, it's 3-2 from this distance wind is going to play a factor so I'm going to go on the outside edge of the cup but I'm still in the cup Hitting it perfect. See if I got my elevation or my adjustment right. Oh, that's brutal. That's brutal. From that distance, it should have been just a little teeny, little teeny bit, and I was just like right on the outside edge of there. That's brutal. I was trying. I was trying to give myself a little bit where if the wind wasn't a factor, I had one side or the other, and if wind was a factor, I could have dropped a great to the left. And I guess I didn't give myself enough for the perfect. Arr, that's a brutal drop right at the end of the round. That's two of the par fours. On the back, I did not pick up the shot. And the whole goal is, is to pick up, you've got to get eagles on these par fours. Let's see what range I'm in. I don't know if I have enough topspin with my Grizzly. It'll be just a tit short. The ball guide is not lying. I'm gonna do a 10%, three nine. I'll put just a little teeny bit of forward distance back in it. Hit it one ring great to the left. Close, but no cigar. I'm not sure if my opponent has been giving me shit. <clears throat> like they hit that shot and they said, oops, is that like not where you wanted it? Or were you like, dude, like nobody else in the world could possibly do this shot? <laughs> Not like half the people out there and most of the people that are playing an expert are heading to that side because the wind's blowing from that direction. <laughs> it's super important if you move up. If you move up, the wind's not always the same as it is in Ricky. Like the holes, especially in expert. In expert, they'll always give you one of the holes where they'll give you wind that you don't want and you gotta work really hard or you gotta use a bigger ball or you gotta do something to get past that. And You gotta be real cognizant of which way the wind's blowing. All right, that was hole number 17. That was disappointing. I, that was what I, the whole, 
I know that we're seeing some monster scores coming up out there, and I know an expert there. I some of these holes lend themselves to expert where you can get way up there, and I think expert's probably the only divisional bracket or only division that you can get those scores in. I mean, maybe not. You can if you start sinking a bunch of shots, and you you can get good scores. But I think overall, I think what it takes to win in expert's going to be higher. But like in rookie, I think anything that you can shoot, if you can shoot a 30, you're going to be up towards the top. And if you can shoot anything better than a 30, you're in contention. And that may be contention for just the banner, and that may be contention for something more, but uh, dropping that par 4. And so the backside has been two of the par 4s, hole number 5 and hole number 8. And so right now I should be at 30, going for 32 instead of trying to get the 30. So not being able to pick up those par fours. Those par fours, getting eagles on all three of the par fours is super critical. Because then you can use, if you can pick up a few shots here and there, that will, that is huge. But now I have to use those shots to cover me. And it sucks. <laughs> that was hole number 17. Riverside Tournament, opening round of the Ricky Division. Thanks for watching.